Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here, and oh boy, some fires to put out online, obviously. <laughs> a lot of rumors of Arctic blasts that's going to be colder than we've ever seen, and snowstorms down to the Gulf Coast. I'll be honest with you, a lot of it's all garbage. It doesn't mean that there isn't a cold pattern and some opportunities for wintry weather, but it's January. <laughs> Okay, this is the coldest, snowiest time of the winter. So we're supposed to see some hints of this, but some of the stuff online, the wild speculation on 14 day deterministic model runs is kind of a joke. So let me clarify things, get to the real meat of what's happening and talk about actual possibilities, how cold, how long, that kind of stuff. So let's get right into it. So first things first, it's cooler today. Average high this time of year, by the way, in Charlotte, North Carolina, where I am, low 50s average low near the freezing mark so again that's your basis points it's not you know is it cold or warm compared to what i think is warm and cold you got to use the local climate normals that's what you do because everyone's got different tolerances you're from different parts of the country you like warm you like cold you like wet you like dry don't use personal preference we take human emotion out of this and just focus on what the local weather is supposed to be on a 30-year average for our area so knowing that that's the basis for whether it's cold or hot. It's not what I think is cold or hot or what you think is cold and hot. It's what the atmosphere and the local climate thinks is cold and hot. So that's the basis point that I wanna focus on. So first things first, I'll show you the wider pattern here. I'm gonna show you some model data in a second, um, just to give you an idea of the overall pattern. We won't focus on too many specifics, but I did wanna show you temperatures real quickly because I think it is important to kind of show you um, the cold air that is building up to the north. Uh, in parts of Canada, we're starting to see that Arctic air spill over the pole from the other side of the globe. And, you know, I talked about cross-polar flow. You might have heard me talk about that. And remember, sometimes the cold air is over here in Siberia or northern Europe or sometimes over Asia. That air can slide across the pole and move into North America. And so that's what we're seeing right now. You can see the cold air spilling down. In fact, sub-zero temperatures down into the Dakotas today. So the cold air is on the move. That's, that is happening. Cold air is on the move. Part of the problem, though, is it's moving over a relatively unsnow covered area. So while the Midwest is pretty snow covered, um, as you get into areas of the Great Lakes and the rest of the Midwest, there's not as much snow cover. So that's why this first storm I'm gonna talk about is one that could help lay the groundwork for the cold air heading down. So we're gonna go through the weekend, cold, relatively dry, some good Northwest flow snow coming off the Great Lakes, a good lake effect snow machine set up. Um, and yes, there will be some snow in the mountains starting this weekend. Um, into early part of next week. Now, here's our system developing. Uh, this is going into the weekend. So we'll focus in right here. So this is the fifth. And now just look at my calendar. I got to remember day. That's Sunday, right? Yeah, <laughs> Sunday in the morning. So Sunday, we see the system heading in from the west. Okay. The air mass over us is not really that cold yet. It's seasonably chilly, 40s and 50s, but there's really no cold air in place. And why is this first storm not the one that's going to bring us wintry weather? There's no cold air. We need a high pressure system here to be pumping in cold air, the high pressure's over here. So all the cold air is in this section traveling east. It's not traveling to the Carolinas. So anyone telling you there's gonna be snow Sunday, Monday, probably not being completely truthful with you. This setup is not a snow setup for the Carolinas. Doesn't mean we're not gonna see some snow in the mountains, which I do think, or even maybe a few wet flakes or sleet mixed in with the cold rain near the Virginia border. This looks to be Virginia North, in my opinion. Mountains, you're gonna get snow, good news for the skiers. So here comes the system. You could see it moving in and most of the cold air is to the north. So over the Carolinas, yeah, this is gonna be a miserable cold rain. Yes, temperatures in the 40s with rain, horrible. Miserable cold weather, but likely not much wintry weather. You see most of it staying to our north. Now this could shift a little bit north or south, but I can tell you there's not cold air in place here to supply enough cold air to make this wintry weather for the Carolinas. So this is not going to be a big snowmaker by any stretch of the imagination, maybe more of a wintry mix or rain. It moves through. This is the storm though that brings the cold air. In my, in my experience, when we get wintry weather, the first storm that brings the cold air is not the one that brings the snow. So don't ever count on that. But you could see that storm moves through, moves off the East Coast, and look what moves in its wake. These are isobars or equal lines of pressure. Arctic high pressure pumping in the cold air. So this system did its job. It moved through, it missed us, and it brought the cold air. So who's going to see the snow? Well, you could see this is the probability of seeing um, a quarter inch of liquid precipitation in the form of wintry weather, ice, sleet, or snow. You see it's all to our north. And again, I'll zoom in closer on Monday. You can see, yeah, the mountains, maybe Interstate 40, the chances are 10, 
maybe 20%. This is going to be a northern system. This is not going to be a system for the Carolinas. So that's why, you know, we kind of put this one. This is not the winter storm. This is the one that sets the pattern. And oh, by the way, yeah, that pattern is setting up. We're in that favorable pattern a week from today, next Thursday into next weekend. The pattern is favorable for wintry weather, regardless of what the model shows specifically, even when it shows a storm and that storm goes away, it doesn't change the pattern. The pattern's still there. So people that get really geeked up over one run of a model, go look at the snow and then they go, oh, it's gone. It's not happening. No, it's going to do that. The specific, that's why we don't look at specifics. The pattern doesn't change. As long as this pattern stays in place next weekend, I don't care what the model show. It's the pattern. Are, are all the uh, tools on the table for a winter storm? Yes. Now, if we start taking those ingredients out, then I'm going to say, well, it's not happening. Just because the specific runs don't show it doesn't mean the tools aren't still there or the ingredients aren't still there for a winter storm. So I just wanted to throw that out there because you get people that go, they're very, very bipolar when it comes to winter weather. It's, it's coming, it's not coming, it's coming. People are one way or the other. The thing is, I look at the overall pattern and right now the pattern is there and I'll show you why. Look at this cold air spilling in next week. So below average temperatures for most of the country and that cold air is established. So two things you notice here. And again, depending on what model you look at, we've got Arctic high pressure. Uh, there's one over the Midwest and one over Canada. There's cold air being pushed in. And then where we look for our winter storms are down here. We look for the southern branch of the jet stream to get active. Cold air is to the north. Now, as long as that system is there, this is the pattern, by the way, I'm talking about. Is there a cold dome of high pressure over our north or northwest, hopefully north or northeast? And is there a storm track to our south? So even though the models might say one day this storm is here, one day it's not the next day it's there i just look is this here is this pattern here and is this high here right that's all you're looking for don't worry about the specifics here so when you see this run it shows a storm in the gulf of mexico trying to move east this is a good setup so one run will have it one run will go away but as long as this pattern is in place we're still going to have that potential so when i look at this this is why i'm excited for next week at least for a pattern standpoint don't get geeked up about specific snow totals because it may or may not happen. It's just a favorable pattern, just a favorable pattern right now. So let's talk about our first system. A lot of folks saying, hey, Brad, we're getting snow on Sunday, Monday. No, we're not. Um, the first system passes to our north. Here's the blend of models. You see it traveling to the north. There's a little hint of some snow. But again, uh, if the blend of models are showing this, that's this is a non-starter. This thing is staying to the north. You could see it. This is our only maybe trace chance here. And this is through next Monday um, in the afternoon. I'll go through Wednesday next week just to give you We'll go to Wednesday afternoon. So this is through Wednesday afternoon, basically six days out. That, that, that is not a strong signal for winter weather. There's just none there. Now we go long range, right? We see some hints of it late next week. That's that pattern showing up in the long range guidance. Like, hey, maybe there's some snow there, right? So let's start looking at a couple of things. The cold air is coming south. This, you've heard a lot about the cold air. Folks, it's going to be cold, but it's not record-breaking historic cold. It's just below average, okay? This, this is the five-day anomalies, below average temperatures. You can see actually showing that there's probably gonna be snow cover to our north. That's why it's so cold there. Most of our area is in that green over all this period through about the middle of the month. So that's below average temperatures. We'll go in a little bit closer here. And just to give you an idea, these are compared to average, right? The average high is gonna briefly dip to 52. So if you look closely over the Carolinas uh, late next week, we're gonna go into the weekend. This is Tuesday through Sunday next week. Let's go Wednesday to Monday. You can see most of the Carolinas in that 10 to 15 degrees below average. So expect highs in the 30s and 40s, morning lows in the teens and 20s. That's cold and it sticks around for a long time, but that's not even close to records or historic. It's just really cold for this time of the year. Um, and you know when it is supposed to be cold, that's why the records are so low because this is historically the coldest time of the winter. So to get records this time of year, you've got to be brutally cold. So when you look at the blend of models for Charlotte, you see our highs next week, 30s and 40s, right? Morning lows in the 20s. That's cold. That's below average, but it's not record breaking. It's not historic. It's just cold. To me, the biggest part of this is how prolonged cold it is. Once it turns cold next week, it stays cold. So while it might not be record historic cold, it's going to be a long duration cold snap. Now, chances of one inch of snow through the middle of next week, nothing. Both the, both the ensemble show pretty much nothing for us, right? So let's go out into the future a little bit, right? We can start getting a little more excited. We'll look at the longer range stuff. And late next week, we'll go into next weekend. Hey, there's some hints. It's not crazy high. The chances down here, you see at the bottom of the screen, 
probabilities of one inch are around between 10 and 20 percent. So there's something there. And that's why when I show you this, that's why late next week is a pattern to watch. But right now, there's no snow in the forecast in the next seven days for our area outside of the mountains. Mountains, yes. Not outside of the mountains yet. And I say yet because here we are, folks, seven to 10 days out, favorable pattern. Yes, it's going to be cold. Going to be cold. Okay. We start looking at some runs next week. You see nothing on Monday, right? There's hints of it, but it's nothing. Just look at the bottom. This is the mean snowfall. Next weekend, ensemble starting to show something in that 11th through the 13th time frame. A lot showing up there, even in the GFS, not as gung ho. But again, that's just something to keep in the back of your mind. It is going to be chilly as we go into next week, and certainly something I'm keeping a close eye on as we look at this trend in the temperature. So it's going to get cold, it's going to stay cold. And with the cold air staying around, our chance of seeing wintry weather does increase but it's just not there yet. Stay tuned. I will let you know. This is not going to sneak up on us. We're still way out from anything that could produce snow. Probably a week from today is the first real chance and maybe beyond that. So seven to 10 days, folks, live and breathe by this. As we get into next week, I'll be five to seven days out. Is it trending up or down? Three to five days. We'll have some ideas, one to three, or we go right back to the pattern recognition and we don't see any of this develop. So again, try to clear it up the best I can. I know this is a long one, a lot of folks jump ahead and you start seeing this kind of detail at this time range. When you're seeing these time range, just ignore that. That is just bogus information. That's all I'll say about that. Again, I'm only accountable to my forecast. Please, if you're gonna ask me questions about my forecast, great. I can't answer questions about other people's forecasts because I don't know, That's, they do their thing. They want clicks, they want shares, they want likes, whatever it is. Um, I'm just trying to get the forecast accurate. I'm not competing against other meteorologists. I'm competing against the atmosphere. That's my job.